マサチカ君と一緒にベッドにいたんですが<笑>一緒にベッドえ Damn, even the spectators are so confused. <laughs> oh my god, the camera angle. I love the camera angles. Oh, that was the new episode of Anya Hydra Feeling in Russian. Can I just quickly say it though? Like, dude, she is so freaking adorable. I think she's definitely up there for like best girls this season. And by the way, what are the camera angles were usually when they do like the changing booth thing, they don't really do anything insane. But uh, they really said, hey, let's just go all out here. And I'm over here like, well, damn. So Anya Hydra Feelings in Russian episode two. I just want to quickly say about this anime. I've been watching it here and there in my off time. And oh my God, it's way too good. Like full length reaction on Patreon if you're interested because like there are some saucy moments. There's some really fun moments. This anime has it all. I thought it was just going to be another anime where they kind of have this tsundere girl. She has her own like niche, right? But honestly, her speaking in Russian makes it a lot more fun because instead of like we look at the inside of the girl's mindset when she's a tsundere, she kind of hints at our MC that she speaks in Russian, like teasing him that way. And she wants to be paid attention to so much in this episode. It's just so freaking good. So first of all, to start off the episode, we have them organizing like the supply room. And of course, Anya and this girl actually have a rivalry going on between the two of them. Now, I thought originally this girl was like the pseudo council president, childhood friend, all that jazz. But no, she isn't just a childhood friend. She's actually his sister or his sister, her sister. Oh, his sister. But you get the point. I did not realize that until today's episode. It kind of made sense with the hair color, but I was kind of just going off the fact that they might be childhood friends. They just know each other. Um, not too childish here, like the, the whole mindset behind that. She was trying to go after him because she is really trying to go after him. But uh, you know, for a fact, it's a losing fight because even though they have kind of like a rivalry for attention from him, she's going to win Anya because of the fact that Lily, she's best girl. And honestly, she's so good. She's way too good. She's way too good. Like, honestly, I say she's probably top five best uh, girls for 2024 so far. We would really have this episode figuring out that like, hey, they know each other, all that jazz. She walks Anya home because they're like, hey, I want to become student council president, but I don't want to back me. I just want to do it just because, you know what I'm saying? And he's took an interest in her and his camera angles are absolutely insane. Like some of them are, of course, going to not show in this thing here because they're very spicy to say, at least like they had way too much fun with this girl she is way too playful she has way too much energy but she likes kind of like that brother complex sister complex and she likes the whole idea of uh incest a little bit more than you think because she's reading this book like oh my god what happened to the, the step sibling the the brother and sister are actually thinking of step sibling not related by blood it's like swim home i believe bama but she doesn't like it that way she wants like the real deal you know what i'm saying uh, dude she's just uh, she is just uh a piece of work to say the very least she is sus especially here dude the way they tease her in this shot here i'm not going to show the other angle because the face down angle which was in all the preview trailers and i was like there was a joke it is way too fun but yeah they're, they have a very playful relationship to say the very least she's sus because like literally she's doing this and teasing him and then she's like did you get like you know hard and stuff and i'm over here like hey what what the hell they're like this girl is so freaking sus like i think she has a brother complex i don't think it's the other way around this time chief i do not think he has a, a brother uh sister complex at all uh and of course they were doing shopping and then look on you just stalking them because she's like wondering what's their relationship bro hey, you know for a fact bro they noticed her the whole entire time at least she did uh and she's way too freaking cute but dude this episode was so fun i will say there's some things about this episode that are kind of bad like uh, they overuse some of their camera angles and also what is the other thing besides camera angles they also use facial expressions a bit often like the eyes popping which was not the worst in the world it kind of indicates the points where it needs to be but it was kind of just unnecessary in some parts but like right after they find her they like say hey you want to hang out with us go shopping they do exactly just that and then they actually try the spicy ramen shop and of course it's way spicier than normal and she doesn't want to like not hang out with him and, and stuff so they went to it and of course the eyes talk about the overused uh it was hot food it was very hot food it was so funny she literally tries this food she's like going eating and stuff like that and she just gets absolutely cooked and she's like oh i can eat it right it's delicious oh, oh. and then in russian she's like it hurts i can't eat more and i'm like oh she's so cute dude and this part is so freaking good dude like this was this did not need to be as funny as it was but what really emphasized this part like them joking about laying in bed and stuff like together was the camera angle shot where they pan around and show him spitting and all the bystanders just looking right at them too that shit is so 
fun. That was so good, dude. This anime is so nice. Like they did, they went too hard for this, bro. They went too hard with this the whole entire time. It was just way too good. I just, oh, dude, she was so cute. You know, at the end here, she was teasing the girl childhood from was teasing her because she knows she can eat this and she just gets absolutely cooked. They do try on food after, uh, not food, they try on clothes afterward. And dude, so cute. She's like hiding her feelings in Russian and right. They both go like their own thing. They're so adorable. It's so the classic like changing room and oh my God, that camera angle, bro. Dude, like they went, the camera angles for this episode were way too um, fancy to say the very least. But uh, she gets to show off a little bit. She's having a nice time because she's getting praised. She's like absolutely loving it, uh, which is super freaking cute. And then she tried to do a little bit more bold. And of course, kind of backfires on her because, uh, yeah. And then, of course, she just says, I'm Russian. I want to disappear. And like, it's funny. I don't surprised you didn't hear him translate that for her at the exact same time because he understands Russian, right? And he told her near the training room, but she didn't hear it. I guess it's because she just kind of zoned out. She's like, damn, I messed up. And look, this is the eyes I was talking about they overused in the episode. It was not the worst in the world, though. It could have been like less used, but it was good for comedic effect. But yeah, I'm not a huge romance, guys, when it comes to romance animes, but this is the one I was like really interested recently because you guys don't know, in high school, I uh, actually dated a lot of girls who were Russian. Well, mostly they came up to me in high school and I just hanged out with them and stuff like that. But that's why I took an interest in this reacting this anime. And honestly, it has been worth every second I watch it. I would say it's better than Oshina Ko and even the, the other stuff I'm reacting to recently. Cause like all the animes for summer, there's not really that much stuff that's good. And also feels like it's very slow this summer. All the good stuff's coming out like in fall winter, which is not the worst in the world. Cause we get the cook at the end of the season, which is like summer is kind of rough. Am I the only one who feels that way? Let me know what your thoughts on uh, summer anime so far in the comments down below. And you can disagree with me. But uh, if you guys enjoyed my review slash reaction here today, smash the like button, get subscribed so you miss some future stuff. And until then, have a great day. Jimin out.